if you don't want to go up early in the morning, but you still want to get those really nice sunrises in your vlogs, then you can shoot the sunset, flip it, and then play that in reverse, and voila, you have a nice sunrise. Random fact about Sweden number one. There's a store here that is called Systembolaget and this is the only store in the entirety of Sweden that is allowed to sell booze and liquor and everything else that is stronger than 3.5%. So if you go into a regular store here in Sweden, the strongest alcoholic beverage that you'll find is going to be 3.5% unless you go to Systembolaget. I got a comment on my previous episode that I thought I'd address in this video and it was about my videos not feeling the same as they used to do before. And the thing is that when it comes to the b-roll, we've already talked about this, I have done the poker b-roll, I've done the office b-roll, I've done all the different b-rolls that you can do and I'm not enjoying those videos anymore and that is why I'm not making them. But when I'm doing these vlogs, that is when I'm having the most fun with making videos and it's also a great way to practice how to create good storytelling when you are in the editing process. I tend to see it as a band, and since I'm a huge metal fan, I'm gonna take Metallica as a good example. They started out with albums such as Kill 'Em All, Ride Lightning, Justice For All, and Black Album, and then along came Load and Reload. The thing is, when you're working as creative, you have to have fun with the things that you do, and having fun means trying different things. So if you're thinking that my videos are not what they used to be, they probably aren't, and they probably never will be again. Hello. Hello, Hello. <laughs> welcome to the vlog. <laughs> this oh is this is vlogception right here. Oh my god, yeah, this is crazy. I actually have another camera like right there. <laughs> <laughs> So I was having this uh, I was having this discussion with Leela yesterday on how YouTube is kind of like forcing you into this corner and we talked about this before um, but making things because it's fun is gonna be key to the longevity of making YouTube videos and since Leela has been watching my vlogs I told her why don't you try it out yourself so it's gonna be really fun to see how the video is gonna turn out Let's talk a little bit about file management because this is very important, especially when you're making videos, vlogs, and quickly consumed content because you wanna make sure that you place everything in a neatly, like, uh, nice order in your hard drive so that it's easy to find. And the way that I do it is that I always start out by creating a folder with the date that I shot the videos. And since I'm usually using more than one camera, it's also very important that you specify the different cameras that you use when you're shooting the videos. But it also depends on which kind of video it is that I'm making. For example, if I'm making a short film, then I wanna make sure that the main folder is gonna be the short film's name or the, the, the project's name instead of the date. And when I've created these folders, I import all the footage into the different folders depending on which camera that I shot it with. And that's basically how I store all my files on my SSD drives. I don't really care which brand of SSD drives that I use as long as they are performing good and are reliable. And I've found that the Samsung T5 SSDs and the Lacey SSDs works really well for the things that I do. When I jump into Final Cut Pro, the first thing that I do is to create a new library. And then I place that library within the date of the video that I'm making. What I wanna do then is that I wanna create new events for every single camera that I used. So I'm gonna right click here, choose new event, and then I'm gonna write A7S3. And then we're gonna create another. We can hit option N to do this as well. And then you go to your SSD drive and then jump in to the date that you're currently working on and then choose the cameras that you want to import. 
and then choose Command A and drag that into the camera that you used. So in this case, A7S III. And then you do the same thing for all the different footage that you got for your video. When I store them on my NOS drive, I try to be a little bit more thorough with how I store the files, just to make it easier to find. I start with the year that I'm currently in, which is 2021. Then I have my vlogs, my short films, my product B-roll, my family stuff, and also the environmental shots. And for example, within the vlog folder, I create the date and then the camera, and then inside the cameras, the footage that I've shot. And same thing goes for the shorts and the products, but the difference here is that I named the short films the project's name, and then the product B-roll, the name of the product, the family is gonna be the date, the environmental is going to be the date, and then moving deeper, we have the cameras, but in the environmentals folder, I have the time of day, so either sunset, sunrise, midday, uh, afternoon, so that when I wanna have something specific in one of my videos, say for example, sunset or sunrise, then I can just go into my NOS and search for that specific thing, and it will find those folders instantly. So I was watching my buddy Sidney Dionson dropping a video on not having fun anymore and how he wanted to create more vlogs. And I'm really honored that he mentioned me in his videos and that my vlogs were fun for him to watch. That's awesome. So Sydney, if you're watching this, keep making the vlogs. Vad gör du idag då? Idag håller jag på och mojar. Svetsar och Filip Jankar. <laughs> Filip Jankar. I want to ask you, do you have any words of wisdom that you want to share with the world? If you see water, drink it. If you see alcohol, don't drink. <laughs> I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna take the boxes. 